Hey everybody, it's Brock, and today's video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. Make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever All About Tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series. Click the link in the description to get some for you and your family. everybody it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of all about thank you all for joining us today we got one that's been requested a lot we are learning all about the French angel fish jumping right into it so prices on them you'll normally spend about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars to get a juvenile you know a small one will still cost you a lot and then whenever you want a bigger one more of the adult coloration you can spend 200 and above to get one of these they are a pretty expensive angel fish Tank size, by the end of his lifespan, you will definitely want to make sure you have a 200 gallon plus tank because they get huge. And whenever they are big like that, those tanks are six to eight feet long, and that gives them plenty of swimming room to go back and forth. Now, to switch that totally up, you know, juveniles can come really small, like some are only two inches long. So if you have a, you know, a 75 gallon and you're wanting to keep them in there, for a little while wait till he gets bigger and then upgrade later to a bigger tank you can definitely do that he'll be very happy just make sure once he does get larger he'll definitely want more room to swim around care level i would say moderate mainly because of trouble eating so the main thing is just make sure you're asking your lsf that you're buying him from what are they feeding them right now and another big thing is just to switch it up whenever you first have them in your tank. Feed them multiple different kinds of things and kind of just watch what he likes more. Temper, semi-aggressive. You know, angels, just like tangs, they become the kings and queens of the tank. They become very territorial over their rocks and their caves. And whoever new thing comes in, they got to check them out. And sometimes they can even be aggressive towards them. So you definitely want to make sure this is one of the later fish you add to your tank. Or if you're wanting a group of fish, make sure to add them at the same time. That way they all go in and they're all looking for territory at the same time. Reef safe, so definitely not. They are really bad about picking at corals. They are hungry for them, looking around. They pick on the soft corals, the stony corals, even clam mantles they'll pick at. So he's definitely not one to put in your reef tank. He does much better on a fish only with live rock tank. They do really, really good in those. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. You know, I like to keep it right on 78 in my tanks. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Max size, now they can get a foot or more. They get really big. You can expect them to get a foot long, but some of the ones we've seen in tanks get even larger than that. They push the foot and a half range. So that's why you really need a bigger tank towards the end of his lifespan because they are just a massive angelfish. So pretty though colors on them so what's so sweet about them like the one you're seeing in the video he's a juvenile so you're going to have that black body with the yellow stripes running up and down them but as they do get older they actually become completely black with yellow speckles all throughout their scales it is a really pretty fish when he's a juvenile and whenever he's an adult diet so they are an omnivore you definitely want to make sure you're feeding plenty of algae. I always like to mention whenever people get tangs and get angels, you want to make sure you're feeding algae on a daily basis because they need it in their system. That keeps them really healthy and it keeps them away from getting diseases like, you know, ick and fighting flukes, all that. They need that algae in their system to battle it. Now, sea veggies, they have a dry seaweed that I really like. You can cut it into little squares and put it on a clip inside the tank. That way he can go on there and nip at that throughout the day. And then also having just some natural hair algae or any other kind of little algae, green algae that you got growing in the tank, they will love it and they will pick at it. Now on the total flip side, when you feed your other fish meaty foods like mysa shrimp and brine shrimp, this guy is going to come up there and eat it as well. So he's going to be eating both, but definitely make sure you have that algae in there to keep them healthy. Origin, they do come from the Caribbean. Compatibility, just ask. Now they can be housed with other angels and tangs. And pretty much any fish in between, usually if you do want them with other angels, you want to make sure you add them at the same time if you can. Because once an angel is in a tank long enough by itself, they become very territorial over that area. And adding a new angel, a lot of times they'll see that as taking over their territory and can lead to a lot of aggression. 
And so you definitely don't want that. So if you do want multiple tangs in your tank and multiple angels together, try to add them at the same time if you can. And while that's the case, he does really well with other fish too. I've seen them in predator tanks with tangs, triggers, you know, puffer fish, eels. They do really great in there because they're just so big. And then they do good on the total flip side of peaceful fish with clownfish and gobies and wrasse. So they do really well with anything in the tank. Now in a tank with this French angelfish, you want to just have a sandy bottom with plenty of live rock in the tank. Big arches and caves for them to swim throughout while also having some open space for them to go to. This will give them plenty of room while also giving them plenty of rocks to graze on for algae and to go and hide behind if they're ever nervous or scared from something. They can go back there and hang out. Another great thing if you can have in your tank is natural algae growing. So if you got some hair algae in there or some micro algae growing, it will really be a treat for him whenever he's first introduced in the tank. If he's kind of wary on eating the food you're feeding your other fish and he just wants to eat that natural food first, that's good to have in there. And they also go around and pick at sponge. Sponge is a thing they'll grow in your tank once your tank is, you know, year or more older and you'll have that growing behind your rocks. He'll go back there and chew on that as well throughout the day. So sponges is another really good thing to have in there. And after that, you check all those off your boxes, you will have a very happy French angelfish swimming in your tank. They are a good, good, hardy fish to have in there. They get really big if you're looking for a fish that just gets huge. I mean, a foot plus by the end of it. So definitely need a bigger tank by the end of it. Make sure you're feeding that algae to them to keep its colors really pretty, keep them really healthy, and then also keeps his aggression down. You know, a full fish is a happy fish. And then just make sure you don't put them in a reef tank. Don't risk it because I'm telling you, they are bad about picking at your stuff. Other than that, if you do have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to help y'all out. If you have, you know, a group of fish in your tank or a size of your tank that you're just unsure if he should be in there, please just leave it down in the comments below. I can help you out and tell you about my experience. Or if you've kept one of these French angel fish and you want to tell about your experience, please leave that down in the comments below too. That helps us all learn more about this fish. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our website as we just released those new teas. Thank you all.